Hey guys, Civil Lord here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Turtles of Grace Skull Walmart exclusive. Oh, jeez, um, Mosh Man, Mutant Mosh Man to be exact, the evil Master of Nature. This, of course, brought to us by the fine folks over at. Mattel, and before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, I just want to give a quick shout out to the local friend who shall not be named for privacy reasons for tipping me off that my semi-local, not the one closest to my house, but the second closest one to my house, Walmart, Wally World, whatever you want to call it, had a few of these guys, so when I was out and about the other day, I ran up and grabbed one for both myself and my good buddy Evil Villain, who should hopefully have his, if not, by the time this video is posted, because I record shit in advance, but soon after, shortly after, whatever you want to say. So, with that being said, before we get too far ahead of ourselves again, why don't we cut right to the chase, get into the meat and taters of this review, and take a look see at all Mosh Man the Evil! Evil! Master of Nature has to offer in terms of accessories. Starting off with this cardboard in shirt here, which does also have a uh, pamphlet on how to disassemble the figure. If you are back in Sampleton, um, yeah, I kind of miss the exclusive mini comics, but it is what it is. Can't give us everything, right? That said. As far as way upons go, there's this crazy claw effect thing here, which I'm assuming goes into the left hand, the way the, um, whatchamacallit there, the underside is sculpted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if not, well then... Uh, tough as shit. It doesn't really fit in the um, right hand that well. But either way, there you go. It's a little big. Not gonna lie. That's what she said. Uh, we do get these two crazy tendril pieces. And if we turn Moss Man around here, you can plug them into the back via these little ports. That quick. Uh, there's a way to do this so that these are kind of out of the way, but we're just gonna go for it here. Put that one there. Put the other one on the other side. I do believe these come with the um, is it Vecna figure that's gonna be packaged in a Stranger Things crossover two pack with He Man. That's going to be a Target exclusive at some point. And uh, that's cool and all, but I could really fucking give a shit about Stranger Things at this point. You ask me, it's not bad, but I think it's a little overrated. Um, so sending him back there. So he's got his crazy hentai rape tentacles going on. It's like Brainiac, just like Dr. Octopus. Or uh, anyone else that's got crazy hentai rape tentacles sticking out of their back. Okay. Um, and then he comes with the fucking plant from Adam's Family. <laughs> Seriously, this thing reminds me of Cleopatra from the Adam's Family. But uh, the mouth opens. It's got the tongue there. This piece also rotates, funny enough. And it does have a socket on the bottom. For this adapter piece... Which does have a handle on it, so he can hold it in his hand, like a, a blaster, I guess. Or you could plug it into here, like so. <coughs> Sorry. Freaking, uh, must be Pollen from Moss Man, because he's a plant, get it? Uh, probably not. That said, we could take his noggin, we could pop it off, and then we can slap this thing on top here and 
and then we can make it look like Mossman and Cleopatra from the Adams Family uh, had a very demented child. That said, it's a little tricky to stand, said demented child. Especially when the legs get kicked for it. There we go. That's better. That said, of course, this is going to give him some added height. So let's pan the camera up here. And uh, there you go. There's your ultimate mutant moss man. That said, I do kind of like using the um, Venus flytrap piece without the neck extender. I think the neck extender adds a little bit too much upper body weight. It makes him very top heavy. That said, if you wanted to, you could put on the um, moss man head. with the neck extender which is the look I prefer personally looks a little less uh, well for lack of a better term fucking nuts um, or nucking futs if you want to be PG about it you know wuss um but yeah I, I like the way that looks I think that's a good look but uh, taking all this excess shit off so we can just look at the figure here toss it goes to the side Capitate him again. I swear, I think we killed him more times in this review, decapitating him than uh, Kevin Smith did in uh, Motu Revelation Revolution, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. There is your Mosh Man, back to normal, quote unquote normal. He is still like translucent green. He looks like a like a yoked out version of the Grinch from Doctor Seuss. <laughs> Needs a little Santa hat and a little Santa coat because you could take the uh, plant pieces off his upper arms. They are just uh, shoulder pad kind of slip-on pieces, and they stay on there pretty snug. Uh, same with the torso armor. It's uh, kind of like Beast Man's, but it's a little different. It's got more uh, asymmetry going on. And it just unsnaps on the back there. There are those ports again. But uh, as far as new new parts go, other than the armor pieces. And the head, of course, we do get some new hands, which can grip accessories way better than the fucking piece of shit uh, Beast Man hands the previous Moss Man came with, which, funny enough, also a Walmart exclusive. Noticing a pattern here. And then we also get some new feet. And I believe these parts are going to be used on the Demo Gorgon, uh, which is a Stranger Things crossover two-pack release with uh skeletor <laughs> again i could give a shit but i know there's what five of you out there that still think stranger things is cool and or relevant so congratulations but as far as articulation goes i've probably pissed off so many people i don't care man as far as articulation goes he's got the double ball peg in the head it looks up and down tilt side to side rotate side to side hindered because of the sculpt of the head it's kind of par for the course shoulders go up back down rotate forward and back they do swivel at the elbow and hinge and then he does have a swivel in the wrist with a hinge as well does have a waist twist and then his hips can kick out to the side perfect splits back down forward back he does have a knee swivel with a single jointed knee funny enough i don't know if there's some kind of weird variant with this guy but this version that i have uh before you has the clicky knees at least on the one side this side it's a little weak sauce but i did stiffen it up compared to what it was and if i leave him standing it might stiffen up over time so whatever but um the one i got for evil villain it doesn't have clicky knees and the knee swivel is significantly tighter. This isn't loose, but the other one is really tight. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, he does have a boot cut. And then he does have a hinge in the foot with a rocker. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Which you might want to put this guy on a stand just because of the upper body weight. Especially if you're going to use all those accessories. Um, he definitely benefits from a stand. But uh, he does have pretty solid feet. Despite the fact he does have a very steep ankle rocker, which is kind of an issue. But I like him, man. I think he's fun. Um, he's fucking nuts, but I think he's fun. 
So, uh, painting the camera back down. Uh, I think we can get him centered here. Eh, whatever, that's good enough. I think that's about everything. That is Mutated Moshman in a nutshell, people. So, without further ado, -do, I guess we're going to cut it here and move right along. Take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here is good old Moshman, alongside the only other mutant characters that I have, at least, from the Turtles of Skull. We have Mutant He-Man and Mutant Ram-Man. Shout out to my good buddy Evil Villain for the hookup on that one, and truth be told, it has occurred to me that there is a variant on good old Ram-Man here. The first of which is, of course, the one you see here. He is translucent with a big old black goat nose on his noggin. And then there is a solid purple version, not translucent, without a big old black goat nose on his noggin. And that is unfortunately the one my good buddy Evil Villain got stuck with because unbeknownst to us, we had no idea there was a variant on good old Ram Man here. So uh, gotta love Mattel and their shenanigans, right? Moving them out of the way. Bringing in our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus. And the infamous Mkhu Elephant Spawn. Who, as usual, towers over everyone. Because he is, of course, not a 5.5 inch figure. So with that being said, it's time now that we wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and aside from the fact that it looks like Moss Man from Masters of the Universe and Cleopatra, the plant from the Adams family, fucked and had a baby, this is a pretty fun figure, man. You get a lot of crazy cool effect parts and accessories that would have really spruced up. Get it? Spruce? It's a type of tree. The previous version of Moss Man in the traditional standard core, whatever you want to call it, Masters of the Universe Origins line, which funny enough was also a Walmart exclusive. Sensing a pattern here. But yeah, I have to say, out of the mutant characters in Turtles of Grey Skull, Moss Man's one of the more fun ones. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.